Hello, hello. Well, I guess there's no way around that. Glare coming in my. It's a sign from God, I guess. Anyway. I'm trying to try to stop the chain anyway. But anyway. What I got today is uh, my little. I haven't posted a video and it's because of a lot of things, but one thing is my stupid stand that holds my phone, you know? Yeah, the little top part, you know, where it goes on to the tripod, broke. And I haven't ordered another one. So right now you're just leaning against a little bag. You're gonna get the worst angles. What I'm gonna do today is show you all how to, and, I, and this is my first time doing this too, but I have cut some stencils out of uh, stencil material for a cricket for different things. And then I was thinking, you know, I could probably cut out some cool little uh, lure designs you know, to stick onto the lure and paint over and leave some, leave a, it's a stencil for the lures. That's what I'm trying to make. So, bought some stencil material, and that's what it's called. I went to a Hobby Lobby. It's uh, the Paper Studio stencil material, and I think there's different brands, but, you know, I guess there's premium stuff out there. But this is, I don't know if this is premium or not or what, but this is uh, the, paper, the Paper Studio stencil material. You get a whole roll of it, and I don't know, I think it's three feet. And right now I'm gonna cut out uh, left and rights for three stencils. And it's like a bone pattern, let me show you. You know, I wish I could just flip, flip the screen. Anyone know how to flip the screen on a Apple phone? If there's a way to do it, that would be cool. But pause for a second. Here's what it looks like on your Cricut design space. So if you uh, have a Cricut, you know what I'm talking about. You download this. It's their software. It's Cricut Design Space. And uh, what I did is I went on to Etsy and there's people that sell different uh, lure patterns and I might make my own so I can offer it to you guys. Maybe some better design than these, but this is a basic, like a bone scale bone design. And uh, so I got a left and rights for three lures. And what I'm doing now is taking these, uh, uh, taking the stencil, cutting it at about three inches, which every square looks like it's half an inch. So one, two, three inches, and I'll have six different uh, deals here I can cut out, stick them to the lures, paint them, and uh, we'll see what we can get out of it. So I'm gonna set you right back down here glare in the face again so cutting out three inches and i'm probably wasting a lot of uh stencil material it's not the cheapest thing not not crazy expensive but if you're making a hundred more this way it's just not not a good idea probably but if you're just making a few for yourself um or a specific design you know this is nice so i'm gonna stick this on to the, the cutting board that it comes with, cutting mat. And my sticking is not so sticker, stickable anymore. I'm not so sticky. So I'm gonna tape it down a little bit. And this is going, um, just go with the top of the carpet mat. And I'm gonna stick, tape it down 12 inches by 12 inches, just like that. And run it through the machine and all. I'll show you how that goes. So I'm taping this uh, stencil material down to the cutting mat. Fitting, I'm fitting them. Fitting to put this in to the machine. Fitting to put it in there. So here we go. Yeah, if, you're, if your sticky mat doesn't uh, stick anymore, don't. Throw it away, man. I mean, you can get a new one. It's nicer, I guess, but these things, they track up so much dirt and stuff. They don't stick that long, but it's, here it goes. 
Here, here's what it looks like. And I'm gonna stick it in the machine here. <clears throat> Let's see. Sticking it in the machine, it's not plugged in, looks like. I'm just, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants right here, guys, if you haven't noticed. I'm gonna turn it on. And this is just the uh, Cricut Explorer 1, like original. I got it off of uh, Marketplace. And I, I always, before I buy anything, I always search Marketplace. I mean, people, people buy stuff, they don't need it. So yeah, they, they, uh, they buy stuff, they don't need it. And next thing you know, you get a brand new Cricut machine for half the price or less. So, uh, I'm always looking on there. Sometimes you get some crappy people out there saying send you some, sell you some bunk stuff, but I'm talking about cheap stuff like this, you know, this one, I can't remember how much it cost, but it wasn't very much. Maybe 50 bucks, I think, maybe. I don't know. But brand new, they're a little pricey. I don't know if you ever priced one out, but, uh, not the cheapest thing. Not the cheapest thing, these Cricut machines. You can get some real nice uh, wireless ones and fancy stuff on it, but this is just a basic model and they, uh, it does the job just fine. So now that I have the machine on, that I have it on, uh, since I'm not doing an iron on or anything, this is just a regular, uh, put it on there and the way you see it on the board is the way it's gonna be, come out here. And they recommend that you go to custom on your dials, you have, uh, you got a paper, vinyl, uh, iron-on, light cardstock, cardstock fabric, on plasterboard. But I went online and say, what's the best setting for printing on the stencil material? And they go to said to go to custom. Go to custom. Oh, up here. By the way, I'm gonna basic cut on the mat. Uh, 12 by 12, I don't have to mirror it. And then I'm gonna hit continue. So I'm not saying continue, please connect your deal and I've connected. And I'll browse all materials. Scroll down to where it says right here, stencil vinyl. Click on that guy. I'm gonna put that in my favorites because I haven't yet. And uh, click done. Then it asks you if you wanna, you load the fine point blade, which already comes uh, in there already. I probably need to change mine now, but load the mat and press the load unload button. And that guy's blinking now. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I need two hands, give me one second. So I loaded it, it's in. And now it says to press go, press the cricket button. So here we go. And everything, I'm making sure that everything's good so that way when I hit it, it's gonna be good. Okay, here we go. Preparing. Yeah, and this is probably like super slow turtle mode here for someone who has the Cricket Explorer 3000, you know. But this is like the original, uh, original Cricket. Should have stuck it down there a little bit, making bubbles, see? I push pause. Paused it. And I'm gonna stick it down a little flatter there so it doesn't bubble up like that. Can't be good for the whole operation. Here we go. Stuck it down. Push pause again. Let's go. And you can see where it's already. Looks 
exciting, isn't it? Yay! Well, let's let you uh, let it go here for a minute. It's at 22 percent, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so it's done. Check it out. I got enough for three lures here. And what I'm gonna do now is uh, peel it, weed it, as they say, and I'll show you how it goes on the lure. Uh, two sides. There we go, here's one, one side. My dog, man. I hate his guts. He, uh, I don't really hate him, but he's old and that guy needs to be quiet. He's outside, he wants to come back in, but he pees everywhere now. So old, he just goes. He's a dachshund. It's about 14, 15 years old already. Can't see, can't hear. So, today I lured him out with a steak. He went happily. It was not a real full steak, but it was a half a steak. Half of a half of a T-bone. And the guy's happy, very happy. So I'm gonna take this little dude and weed, weed him. Which means you take this little tool, it's called a weeder. And it takes out the, it takes out, separates the adhesive from the sticky side from the not sticky side. That's pretty much it. And you can do it with your fingers. It just takes a little time. But. I want to peel off. There you go. Got a couple of stragglers here. I'm going to clean it out. It's up to me to because you can't see nothing. Oh my goodness, I can see again. Well, I can't see up close. I can see stuff far, pretty good. I'm not uh, up close. Maybe it's just being double vision for real. So, here we go. Got it all cleaned up, I think. Oh, one more. See it there? This guy. Give me trouble, man. There it is. Oh, shh. I told y'all I couldn't see. I think it's, I think it's done. See there? Yeah. It's taking forever, I know, but hey. This is entertainment at its finest. So I already painted up a lure and it's pretty subtle. It's like a, a well, I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's pearlized uh, white underneath and a little silver. And then I added uh, pearlized blue over the top. And I think for the sides, what I'm going to do is um, just give it a little darker version of the same blue maybe add a little or just go a little heavier with it so the lure has a lateral line and 
and uh, you just kind of this little skeleton has a a line to go with it as well. So I'll stick this dude on there as best as I can. He's wanting to come up on the sides. See there? There we go. And that's good to get the paint right there. And there's quicker versions of this, but it's not so it's not gonna be so clean line on the side. Like you can just get a stencil and hold it up next to it, you know. Paint it. But that's not what we're doing today. We want some crisp lines. And what I'm gonna do next is take uh, some of this painter's tape and go around the edges. And like I said, if you're doing a hundred of these, this probably isn't like the best idea. But doing a one-off or maybe a few lures. Like this. Cover everywhere you don't want paint to get. Pretty simple concept, I think. I think. This painter tape ain't cheap either. Yeah, man, everything. Use, use masking tape. I'm trying to save a buck here. Yeah, there we go. Make sure it's all pressed down real good. Because whatever's not pressed down, that paint gets under, it'll get under the stencil, and it'll have blurry edges, and we don't want, I don't want blurry edges today. Some parts that aren't just gonna stick, so I'm gonna have to just go with it. Be careful. But here it is, painted painter's tape on the way to the edge. And like I said, I'm just going to go with a darker blue on the side. All right, let's do this. Remember, guys, I told y'all my uh, stupid tripod broke. Yeah, stupid tri tripod broke. So I'm having to rig it all up here, man. Worst angles. Here we go. Cranking up the fan so it's gonna be probably a little bit loud. Um, Like. I'll hit it with a dryer a little bit. 
see what this guy looks like. I dried him up a little bit. Probably went overkill on the tape here. Stuck to each other. As long as I don't peel my paint off, you know what I mean? Oh, ho, ho. here we go. There's some reveal. Alright, look at that. Nice and crispy. Yeah, I like the way that looks. So there you go, man. Let's do the other side and then uh, I do a clear coat on it and then I'll give you a final, a final look. There's one way to do it. There you go. Any questions, hit me up on the, down in the comments here or check me out on Instagram. Appreciate you all subscribing to my channel. Uh, I've had a few extra subscribers lately, so I appreciate, I appreciate all of you that do subscribe. And uh, I don't know, just want to say thanks. And uh, there'll be another video soon. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.